Sometimes just the threat of having a brawl can cause your opponent to play less aggressive and you just don't have the brawl and that leaves a window open for you to get back into the game because they're just not piling on enough pressure. Yeah. Whereas against Dog here, Pyrobat's just like, nah, you don't play brawl. Yeah. I'm going to play the biggest thing I can in every turn. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Yeah, that's something that Rob and I talked about uh, on, on the first day of, of here at Burbank was sometimes the threat of power is worth more than the actual power itself. Well, with the boom bots out, yeah, I think Dog has realized, all right, I'm going to have to get some lucky boom bot rolls to get back into this game. And it looks like it might have instantly killed off his second patron. Or did it kill off the uh, no, I think it commander? Yeah, it killed yeah. off the second patron wow. instantly. That's going to end the turn, and that's going to end the game. Wow, Firebat picks up game number two. Uh, both these players getting pretty easy wins through the claw in this spot. So let's talk about this position. Is this a charge? Is this a taunt? What are, the, what are the pluses and the minuses of both sides of this? I think it very well could have been a charge. Uh, charge definitely weaker to things like swipe. Uh, taunt's going to set up better against things like if Firebat didn't have Innervate and he just had to play Harrison Jones or Azure Drake. Uh, neither of those line up well into a 4-6. Unfortunately for him, Dr. Boom does line up well, but he's probably going to trade off and kill it off with that swipe. Yeah, I, I can definitely see this pilot shredder aimed into this Dr. Boom. This is really going to be his big thought. And these boom bots are going to be pretty big in helping Firebat recover. We're going to find out if they can make it happen. Four and four. <laughs> oh, man. Not too shabby, I'd yeah. say. Yep. So Harrison Jones isn't even going to have to do a great job contesting the front half of Pop. You were only oh, you're absolutely right. You cannot. So you'd only get one more from the inner age. Wow, that's that's actually really important. That's only 19 points. Well, if that. he attacks with the Despite now and equips Fiery War Axe, that'll actually get him more damage in the long run, I think, because then he can use that inner age for damage, and he gets another swing of the axe. He's going to choose not to do that. He's really going to need to pick up something next turn because Firebat is looking to end the game within these next few turns. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 damage available? But he has double intervate. Wait, wait, wait. Two, yeah, I think, I think that actually I, I think might be lethal. It. He has nine on board. Savage Roar is going to give him oh, six. That's 15, wow. 19. He is exact lethal. That's going to do it. I think Firebat spots it, too. You can hear it. You can see him hold, hovering the Savage Roar. Yeah, he's just double counting everything right now, I would think. He's going to go for the swipe to the face. He sees this, and Firebat is going to keep his hopes of a repeat alive. What an unbelievable feat that would be. With every single passing match that Firebat wins, he is one step closer to being a repeat world champion in well this game. Played. You know, sad to see Dog go. Bittersweet victory here from Firebat. I love both these guys. Uh, good friends of mine. Good to see their journey, but at the end of the day, you know, this is what competition's all about. Who's advancing and who's going to have to fight another day. Yeah, the consistency we've seen from Firebat